peace, peace. Happy now. Now is the vibe, of course. Not too far in the future. Not too far in the past. Right now. Now is the vibe, <laughs> I know with me doing this emotional thing, now I be having a, like, I be feeling like, all right, should I be laughing and smiling? But now I genuinely feel like laughing and smiling. But I definitely be wanting to make sure that I'm not, you know what I'm saying, like, uh, smiling and laughing just to, like, hide some energy. I gotta put it on that mean mug. I gotta do it. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> Just speak of the symbols behind uh, the spider and the dragonfly. Realizing, you know, uh, similar aspects. You know, that, again, like, this realm is like a dream realm. You know what I'm saying? So, whatever we're not catching in dreams, it'll come to us in the quote-unquote physical. You know, as little signs and stuff, you know, within the physical, you know. I did a video about the blackbirds and the squirrels. You know, now this one is about the spiders and the dragonflies. Now, spider symbols, you know what I'm saying, in a lot of cases, uh, be a balance of diligent work and patience. As a matter of fact, before I even go into this, like uh, sharing with y'all that, you know, before you even go and look up some of these aspects, you know, ask yourself about that animal, like, and what they're great at doing. And that'll give you an example, because that's all it is, is like a, a, you know, physical representation of, you know, something in the macrocosm, you know, like a spider, a dragonfly, you know, it's a, a physical representation of some type of energy, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, without having to go straight to look up, because of course I did, after, what I did is go within and ask myself, all right, like, what does a spider do is great? Well, it spins a web great so that takes persistent work you know so a spider is persistent you know what i'm saying maybe speaking to being a diligent and persistent worker you know and also a fucking spider is creative because man them webs be beautiful you know what i'm saying like after they're done with it. and a spider is stealthy because you know they be putting their little webs in places where you fuck around and walk into it if the light ain't shining bright enough or it ain't got no water on the web but you can really see it you know you'll walk right into it you know so they real good at being stealthy you know at uh you know bringing in their prayer bringing in their food sources you know what i'm saying so just you know looking at how those those energies operate you know the, those uh quote unquote uh animals operate i give you an example of what the energy speaks to you know so Again, sitting there and just tapping into yourself like a dragonfly. Dragonfly. First thing that came to mind was like, ooh, a dragonfly could change directions at the drop of a dime. Like a dragonfly be zip, 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 zip. Like, them suckers be like, you know, hauling ass this way and then, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, my fast why it used to be fun to chase dragonflies as a little kid, you know, because they would just like fucking zigzag. Maybe that's how I learned how to. You know, get my Barry Sanders on from chasing dragonflies and, uh, you know, subconsciously learning from them. But anyway, you know, uh, again, that will give you a aspect of what, you know, again, your higher self, quote unquote, spirit guides, the universe is, you know, speaking, you know, what it's trying to uh, let you know. And depending on where you're at and what you're doing when you're seeing these signs as well. So, you know, I always have that awareness. But uh, for the spiders, you know, again, balance of diligent work and patience, you know, so you're diligently working, but you're also having a form of patience because after they put up that web, they just chilling like a spider stay still for a long ass time, you know, and just waiting for, you know, the opportunity to come to it, you know, then weave this web, you know what I'm saying, now it's waiting for the opportunity to come. And not trying to constantly chase like it done done the web now it's out trying to hunt too it's like nah i got my web up you know whatever's gonna come to me is gonna come it's destined you know and speaking of destiny it also connects to weaving your web of destiny you know uh and being persistent in your web weaving you know what i'm saying so weaving weaving your web of destiny you know because again even it, with the aspect of like saying that you know again with our soul contracts 
you know, we already done wrote up our destiny and all these different things. It still takes action. It still takes us to, you know, uh, you know, deal with the micromanaging choices we have to make within our day and also dealing with the aspect of how we, you know, uh, use the word react to lack of a better word, but how do we, you know, uh, how do we respond, I should say, how do we respond to certain situations, you know, again, like I use the example of like uh, slavery, for example, how do you respond to that, do you feel like, oh, I gotta lock somebody up like they locked me up too, or do you respond by, you know, like, oh shit, you know, I'm only just continuing this cycle, you know, of doing this and you know to break out of that cycle you know i'm gonna forgive you know i'm gonna step into a place of forgiveness because i do realize that i wove my destiny of going through slavery so i can't get mad at the being who quote unquote had me in the illusion of being a slave because that was a part of my destiny you know what i'm saying so you know stepping into a place of forgiveness and forgiveness doesn't mean being like oh overly nice to everybody you know like that it just means forgiveness, like, you know, like, knowing better, like, knowing to not fucking trip out over, uh, somebody, uh, you know, that, again, you, uh, should I say tripping out over a situation that you created, you know what I'm saying, so, uh, you know, again, the way you, uh, respond to a certain situation changes, you know, that, that sets a ripple in time, like, as soon as you give off a different response, that changes, you know, a certain uh, future aspect and breaks a certain cycle, you know, when you uh, respond to something differently than the way you always respond to it before, you know, hence why you that's how you break out of lesson loops, because you're going through the same lesson loop of probably judging somebody houseless, so you keep having to go through a houseless situation until one day you take that judgment away, like, I'm going to respond differently, man, I ain't going to judge that situation, I ain't going to you know, look at that situation as bad, yeah, and, and I'm gonna look at it as something I want to change, because I was looking at it as something to be cool with, so I'm gonna change my response and be like, nah, I would rather have a house and rather be in a home, you know, so respond differently, and that would change that lesson, where you'll break yourself out of that loop, you know, that ripple would be caused just by, you know, that ripple of change caused by, you know, your uh, change in response, you know, so spider symbol again weaving your web of destiny and being persistent about it uh it is also to acknowledge and embrace our shadow self and our dark side you know uh realizing there is a dark side to our being yes there is a light aspect but there's also a dark aspect because we create from the darkness you know like you close your eyes you think about bam I'm trying to picture you know my new house or you know how i want my car fixed up or you know, this new invention I'm working on, where it starts from? From here. You know, the darkness. From darkness, let there be light. You know? And there's no good or bad to the light or dark. But again, back to equity. You know, we've been the, there's so much weight on the on the side of like paying attention to the to the illusion and the light that, you know, we need to put some weight on the side of paying attention to the darkness realizing like wait hold on you know it's the darkness aspect you know what i'm saying it's that shadow self we need to be tapping into you know to bring a little equity in the balance of this realm of you know making the yin and yang symbol balance you know like let me see if i could uh like let's just say This is how this realm has been being as of lately. This is how the yin and yang symbol has been looking. You know, it's been overly masculine, you know, too much uh, yang energy, too much electric energy, too much, you know, the light, Lucifer, the illusion. And again, Lucifer and the light ain't bad. Uh, again, it's just been over, it's been... Uh, putting for, first and foremost in, 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 you know, and not realizing that this is the illusion, this is the, uh, again, the light side just being imbalanced by having too much of it, you know, while this side of the uh, yin and yang is just a little bit, you know, 
Like, so in order to bring equity, because say, for instance, if I add equal yang and yin energy to this picture, I'm going to get the same thing, just a bigger picture, you know what I'm saying? So in order to balance this out, I need to bring some more, you know, uh, darkness into this picture, you know. I know I can't do the circle since I done did it already, but you get the picture. You know, but bringing it to a balance, you know, but that means I had to add some darkness to that, you know, in order to balance it out. Equity, not equality. But anyway, uh, the spider aspect also speaks to patience, you know, uh, Patience towards opportunities coming our way. So, you know, you're seeing a spider, you know, it may be telling you to be patient. You know, opportunities is coming your way, you know, and to practice patience because you may have been being impatient. So that, you know, be a little more patient, you know, opportunities coming to you. You know, also uh, making big leaps and jumps in your reality. You know, again, I just looked at the way a spider operates. Like a spider could jump from fucking... Like a, cause a spider is small, small and jumps like way over here, like and you gotta compare it to like being a human. That's like almost as a human if I was able to jump like a mile away from where I'm at right now, you know, and probably even even farther comparing it to a small spider that jumps so far, you know. So it's being able to make these big leaps and jumps in our reality, and those big leaps and jumps in our reality come from like being patient, waiting for the opportunity, you know. Acknowledging our shadow self, you know, and, uh, you know, weaving our web of destiny, you know what I'm saying, as well. And also, the spider also speaks to the aspect of being still, you know, being still and stealthy. And that goes back to patience, you know, like it's being able to sit there still and stealthy and allowing for things to, you know, to come to us in that, in that manner. Uh, also, a spider, now this one, another one that just came to me. Again, just analyzing a, a spider in that sense of it, but uh, having a bearing a lot of fruits or seeds or like children or family or loved ones, but you know it may be speaking to the aspect of like uh, a connection with with your family or loved ones, or also it may be speaking to a, a not say a premonition, but like giving the symbol of like hey you're gonna be having a lot of fruits or seeds or children because a spider can lay a lot of eggs. You know what I'm saying? So, I th you know, again, like, it just came to me about, you know, because, again, our uh, ancestors knew to look at, you know, because, again, we we had fallen from a place of having a high understanding. So, we were using nature in order to remind us of these higher concepts, you know, because we, we remembered that all, all of nature embodied these higher concepts. So, we could look to nature in order to remind us of a lot of these things. So, you know maybe speaking to that also tapping into the create creativity and being a uh, you know dealing with being intricate in a uh, or should i say tapping into our creativity and being intricate in our beautiful creations you know so you know how a spider being intricate about weaving this web and that web is beautiful you know again it's telling us to tap into that creativity and be a little intricate and you know creating our little uh you know or dealing with beauty in our creations as well and allow for things to show themselves you know and like say for instance like how a spider again patient and allows for things to come it doesn't like weave his web and then like all right i don't weave my web now i'm about to go crawl up the tree and look for some other shit and then weave this web and it's chilling you know waiting for something to come into that web you know so it's also promoting the aspect of like patience you know because matter of fact that may also speak to something too i just thought about like if you are scared of spiders you know in that sense of it you know again we, we're not saying like oh you gotta to not be scared of spiders you gotta go into a nest of spiders and lay down and, and or nothing like that but you know like all that reflects like if you're scared of 
say for instance, you're scared of water. You may be scared of your emotions. So all of those things are signs of, you know, of something of a bigger picture. So if I'm scared of spiders, then I'm probably scared to embrace all these aspects that a spider embraces. You know, if I'm scared of a dragonfly, then I'm scared of like, you know, changing directions quickly. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it all points back to, you know, telling the story of the bigger picture, you know. Because again, you are walking universe, so your universe is scared of the, the aspect of what a spider represents, you know. So that's also, you know, speaking to what's going on as well, too. That's a sign within itself. Uh, so, yeah, you see the spider and getting a little scared. It's also speaking to the aspect of realizing that you may be scared of some of these things that the spider represents, you know. So, again, allowing for things to show themselves, you know, and, 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 and knowing how to, and also the balance, again, diligent work and patience and then also action uh, when you are completely sure that you are locked on to your target so allow things to show themselves and then pounce or act whenever you are completely sure that you are locked on to your target you know whatever your target is you know you want to be patient and then when you're hundred percent you know I got this you know BAM you could pounce also uh, spiders speak to being gentle, uh, being balanced between gentleness and strength. Because a spider is gentle. You know, I don't have spiders crawl on me many a time. I don't even know if I had one spider bite throughout my whole entire uh, incarnation in this lifetime. You know, uh, but, you know, they're pretty gentle unless, like, again, you're giving off this super fearful vibration or. You know, again, because everything speaks to a karmic energy. If you are so, again, if in the past life you are so that dislike or just was against all the aspects of what a spider represent, then you may, like, be getting bit by spiders a lot. Or, like, if you against, like, say, for instance, bees represent royalty and represent, like, a, a big family being interconnected, you know, uh, you know, uh, pollinating things, uh, pollinating flowers, you know, for creation, or, you know, because uh, I'm just on the fly thinking of things connected with a bee, but if you are against the things that a bee represent, you know what I'm saying, you probably had, like, a lot of bee stings growing up or something like that, you know what I'm saying, or, you know, you, uh, you wasn't a very loyal person, uh, in your past lives or as a primordial being you wasn't very loyal so like dogs trip like you never had great experiences with dogs like dogs always bit you or you always been scared of a dog you know what i'm saying like if, if you uh dislike uh the aspect of cats like you know then you probably just like the aspect of being regal and being like you know like uh like uh having that feminine flow to things and doing things on your own consciousness because a cat not really a, a, like a, an animal that listens to you know other animals in that sense it goes with the flow of how it feel that they is it they should go you know what i'm saying but again all these different little aspects are signs to a bigger because again we're all just an energetic expression in a bodysuit you know what i'm saying like i'm just a conscious energy you know uh like a representation of a uh, expression of energy in a bodysuit that's called call rate you know and the same thing with spiders dragonflies again dogs you know uh dolphins if somebody got something against dolphins or something like that then they got something against higher intelligence and being able to communicate in a very uh high type of you know a high vibrational level you know what i'm saying like Again, like everything speaks to, you know, how it's expressed. You know, if you got a problem with dolphins and you got a problem with that energy and in past lives and a primordial essence, like whenever, whenever we was creating this realm as a oversoul, as a, you know, that primordial being, you know, you was probably a soul that didn't want that type of energy in this reality or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So 
because it was against Dolph, that Dolphin energy or that whale energy or whatever the case may be, you know. But again, back to the spider. <laughs> also, just like a web, it's hard to see. You don't have to uh, let everybody know your next move, you know. So again, being stealthy, like seeing a spider may be letting you know to not always be talking about everything you do because maybe you may be one of the people that uh, like always letting everybody know I, you know not even just your family or close friends or stuff but just any and all people like oh yeah I'm about to do this I'm about to do that you know because I've been guilty of it in the past you know like seeing where like all right maybe I could have kept that to myself you know what I'm saying because you don't want uh you know, all that energy from external uh, aspects focus on what you got going on in the future, you know, in that sense of it. So, you know, uh, the spider may be speaking to, you know, just not speaking on your next move all the time, you know. Because, again, it's a balance in this situation. Just like inside of you, there are certain aspects inside of you that don't necessarily want to see you continuously grow and break out of your comfort zone. Those energies are reflectively represented outside of you as people who seem like they are a part of you or with you like some stuff is in your body and seems like it's with you but it's really against you you know and again with and against for lack of a better word because you don't want to have that combated uh vibe in that sense but you know but acknowledging that that exists you know there's some aspects that doesn't really want to see us you know uh become our greatest version within ourselves and that reflects outwardly as people who you know may not want to see that happen so you know keeping you know your next move you know kind of quiet also don't get caught up in others illusions or illusions of material planes so also don't get caught up in uh you know others illusions are like you know just always uh like being gullible like you know just kind of being aware to not be so gullible at the way you uh deal with others and stuff like that and uh and just again not get caught up in the illusions of the material plane to think that all these material things is worth more than my soul you know or things of that nature like to not get caught up in that illusion you know like yeah you know money is a, a reflective aspect of a of energy you know it's not no good or bad thing you know what i'm saying so uh it's not neither again neither good or bad and at the same time you're not getting caught up in the illusion of putting money over your soul growth you know what i'm saying and say soul growth for lack of a better word but your soul alignment you know aligning with your you know your higher aspect of yourself you know you don't want to put this material plane over that you know what i'm saying because, again, that one one time we did, was putting our, you know, again, our physical aspect, you know, the material aspect over the higher aspects. And I was realizing it's a balance. But, again, equity, you know, things was a little bit off balance where it was focused on the illusion more than it was focused on the, the uh, soul and spirit aspect. So, in order to balance things out, we got to put a little bit of weight on this side so the scale could, you know what I'm saying, balance. Matter of fact, for me, uh, it was a spider that was crawling on my tablet, so uh, it was speaking to me, aligning with the destiny through writing and drawing, you know, like, uh, or more so like writing, you know, because the stuff I write is dealing with information either for my videos or information for me to learn more about my inner universe and inner realm, and also like being an author of writing books and stuff, like some of this information uh, will possibly be uh, information for a book. You know, so it was like, let me know to, you know, weave that web of destiny and connecting with that energy, hence why I showed up on my tablet. You know, so, again, like all the different aspects, you know, uh, add some clarity to what's going on. You know. As a matter of fact, uh, also... I'm going to get into the dragonfly aspect and then I'm going to speak a little bit on this other aspect that align with this, but that's going to be for another video speaking on comic books. But uh, the dragonfly, I only got a few aspects with the dragonfly. The dragonfly, you know, deals with uh, changing directions quickly, you know, so 
being able to, you know, like maybe see, all right, this road ain't ain't the best road for me to go down. So let me, you know, reverse directions quickly because it's either reverse directions quickly or end up, you know, in a place that I didn't want to uh, be in. You know, so Dragonfly uh, speaks to changing directions quickly in that manner. You know, uh, and we say changing directions quickly. That doesn't mean that you're in a rush to do anything, you know, because, again, like the spider teacher, you know, what's going to come to you is going to come to you. Just do your diligent work at being prepared for those things to come to you. But you don't have to, like, you know, be constantly trying to force yourself uh, to rush or do anything of that nature but again changing directions quickly doesn't necessarily mean rushing because you know you change the direction quickly and then it's back to the you know back to the pace that you were at you know it's just shifting the direction quickly you know so uh dragonfly points to the aspect of changing directions quickly it also speaks to the aspect of like uh so dragonfly is you know its domain is around water and in the air like it's masterful around water and the air so it would be uh speaking to masterfulness with the air and water element so you know masterfulness with mental and emotional aspects so you know a dragonfly may be speaking to a balance within your mental realm and your emotional realm like you know uh how does your thoughts and emotions connect with each other and and, and balancing them out excuse me in a healthy manner you know uh because a, a lot of times, uh, again, we may be in balance in this realm of, you know, mental and emotional aspects. And some examples have come to me. Let me see if anything comes to me right now. Let's see. Because thoughts, you know, like your emotions, because matter of fact, like with manifestation, like, your emotions about something you know if I feel angered you know like or should I say like your thought may spark an emotion you know like you may have certain thoughts that you're constantly giving off that spark certain emotions but again like with emotions you want to be balanced between the, the positive and negative emotions you don't want to be always in the negative always in the positive you want to balance and with that balance, though, because we've been mostly in, again, equity, you know, we've been mostly looking at things from a negative perspective. Of course, we want to, like, add some weight to the to the positive emotions a little more, but still being balanced and not taking away the, uh, the validness from the negative emotions either, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're just, you know, again, like, adding a little weight to the positive emotions, but not uh, throwing it off. So, you know, being aware of, like, our thoughts... And, and, and what kind of emotions are created around the thoughts we're having and how to balance that out more, you know, to where it's not, uh, you know, off balance and causing disruption and alignment with our destiny. So Dragonfly be speaking to a reminder of uh, dealing with energy in that area. Uh, Dragonfly also points to the aspect of joy and positivity, you know, like bringing joy, like a dragonfly moving around like it's playful, like they ain't got to care in the world, they eating little flies, that's why they call it dragonflies, you know, catching little flies and doing their little thing, you know, like being joyous and, you know, and positive. And again, that's not the only emotions or feelings that exist, but, you know, definitely, uh, some emotions and feelings that we are meant to uh, to experience because you know, again we've been in the aspect of always being pessimistic always feeling like oh man this can't happen oh man I'm irritated oh man I'm depressed oh man I'm sad you know the, the uh, in the in the melanated community the white man got me feeling like this or uh, uh, this and that you know what I'm saying it's like but nah you know what I'm saying like again always focus on that that uh, negative aspect is where we've been, you know, promoted to be at. So by focusing on the power, that's why in so many ways and fashions, even though the New Age movement, uh, you know, were, again, bring up truths, bring up certain truths, but not the full truths in order to confuse people, you know, it was brought through for a reason. Like, again, like, source moves through, you know, all 
all of the lists and swords, whether it seems like it's the negative aspect or the positive aspect or the oppressor or the people who's trying to help or whatever, you know, it's all the, the mechanism all together. So, you know, as much as, again, like I talk shit about the New Age movement and all these different aspects, you know, it serves its purpose with even making people overly positive. And, and two, that's a part of those people destiny if they meant to get stuck and just looking at it positive for the rest of their lifetime. But, you know, uh, that energy serves the purpose to kind of, again, like to put a little bit of weight on, on that other side of the scale. You know what I'm saying? Again, it may have done it in a way that comes off as, you know, uh, well, that really, you know, in essence really is manipulative and not really telling the whole truth. But it has its purpose, even if it is not telling the whole truth. You know what I'm saying? Just like a lot of these movies, you know, that may be to program our subconscious in an unbeneficial way, but has some truths. You know, those beings who get caught up in the unbeneficial aspect of, you know, dealing with this information, you know, uh, it may be a part of their destiny, but it, it's like, you know, it, it helps with the equity of the whole being, you know. And also, dragonflies can see things quicker. Or in essence, they see fast-moving objects with ease, almost like slow-motion replay. So, like, uh, like I guess you could say, like, how a fly moves past us like this. Like, in front of a dragonfly, it probably moves like this. So it's also being able to see things, you know, like, let's just say dragonflies speaking to the aspect of probably letting you know to have more of a, a reflective vision and what i mean by reflective or more like a retrospective or slow down vision like you know to really like take a look at this like take your time at taking a look at this before you jump on it you know like really see what's going on you know what i'm saying like so it allows for your vision to slow things down and really see like all right this is why this is happening this is why uh, I'm going through this or feeling like this. This is why I incarnated with a mom who do who does this, that, or the other, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But you know, dragonfly speaking to you, slowing it down. You know, and kind of taking that slow down look at things. You know, but and that's basically it. You know, with the dragonfly, and then on a the whole aspect, uh, going back to the spider. You know, I was reading this comic book, which again I'm gonna do a video on itself, but it's called the Divine and uh, the Divine and the Wicked. Yeah, or the Wicked and the Divine. It's that comic book and a comic book called Wayward. W a y w a r d. And Wayward had to deal with spoiler alert, but with deal with weaving the web of destiny and being connected to that web. And then uh, the comic book, uh, The Wicked and Divine, the issue I was reading had uh, the guy, I, I don't know if I'm saying right, Uder, Udu, Earth, or Urder, but it's U R D R. It's a Norse, it's a uh, guy from the Norse mythology. And remember, whether it's Norse mythology, fucking Greek, Roman, whatever, whatever, it's all telling an ancient story. So it's not for us to get caught up on that. Uh, you know, I'm from Africa, so I ain't, you know, the Greeks, this and that, and the Romans, this and that. I mean, yeah, on a human level, whatever, whatever, information got hidden, or they try to replace information with that shit, but it's all, it's all the whole, you know what I'm saying? It's like nothing in this realm that exists that's not a part of the whole, you know what I'm saying? Regardless of how it comes off, you know what I'm saying? Like, all ancient mythology speaks to the same ancient story, just told differently. You know what I'm saying? Hence why a lot of gods seem the same or whatever. You know, a lot of deities seem like they have the same energy. But uh, Uder was a, uh, a god that's connected with weaving the web of destiny. And it it was like a part of a like triune. So U Uder was like connected with weaving the uh, fate from the past. Then Verdandi was uh, the other being connected with weaving the fate of the present. And Skold with uh, the, the being in connection with re weaving the web of the future or whatever. But, you know, the, that triune, you know. And also, again, 
like different aspects and different pantheons, but uh, Uder or whatever, uh, I know I'm saying it wrong, is also connected with Hakate, the triple moon goddess, and also connected with the Morgan goddess. The Morgan uh, is from like a Celtic or Irish mythology, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, all those different connections and no coincidence that uh, also uh, Uder. When you look at like uh, etymology and stuff like that, it's connected to the uh, to the name word, W Y R D, but then turn into word. So again, word, how we you know connecting word magic, you know what I'm saying, creating our destiny uh, with our words, you know what I'm saying, like how that lines up. So seeing weaving our destiny with our words, and then I think it's also connected to. Uh, to the name earth as well you know and, and earth you know uh having that connection with uh again like playing out this destiny on earth with our words weaving our you know whatever destiny so seeing how all that lines up but that video will be on a yeah the comic book video is gonna be a comic book video but that's basically it you know Again, pay attention to all the signs that's around us. I just did a video about Matrix talk, you know, because basically this is dream symbols is the same as Matrix talk because Matrix talk is a representation, just a slowed down physical representation of what's being, what's being delivered to us in the higher realms, you know, in the astral planes and stuff like that, which the astral planes is still part of being in this realm too, you know what I'm saying? It's just a higher aspect of it, you know, but... That's basically it. So, peace, peace. Happy now. Now is a vibrator, of course. I'm not going too far in the future. I'm not going too far in the past.